Just when I thought we weren't gonna have new mods today, boop, here they are. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got seven mods for you. For all platforms, we have two new and two updates. And for PC and Mac, we have three updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Eurotronic 330 Argentinian truck. This is from Nisif Mining. It's got 330 horsepower, 600 liters of fuel, 55 mile per hour max speed, and it is going to take up a total of eight slots. So very, very light on the slots. Gotta love it. On here, we've got many different customization options, starting with rim colors. You got Chrome 1, just right there. Chrome 2, which is going to be a little bit more of like an aged look. So if you like that, go for that. Silver metallic. We have black chrome, black 1. And then we have gray. Not base game gray, but gray. Plus, you've got all of your base game colors. We're just going to stick with Chrome 1 today. Main color, you've got all of these. Now, these are like a, uh, it's like a matte and all kinds of stuff. I'll just show you in the red. So basically, one is going to be normal. And then you've got two, which is a little bit more glossy, but nothing too crazy. Three is more of a, I don't know if I would call that a matte or if I would call that like a satin look. And then you've got Chrome. Now, You've got different versions of these. So you've got like a light version of red and then a darker version of red, lighter color of blue, darker version of blue, green's normal, orange normal, yellow is normal. Plus you've got different color whites as well. I've actually found that I like this white right here. It's like a satin white, really cool. We're gonna stick with that today. Design color, this is going to be the frame. So original is just a gray frame. You could do black, which I imagine will be the most popular, orange, why not right and red as well this looks pretty cool too but today we're just gonna leave it on black pretty basic color setup right here well brands we have four by two we have six by two so whatever you like through there choose it and you're good to go we'll set up we've got wheels we've got hubcap one hubcap two and then hubcap three and four so this is going to change up a little bit the only time you're actually going to see much of a difference is when you do six so hubcap one is going to put it on the back but not the front Hubcap 2 is going to put it on all of them. And then Hubcap 3 puts a different one on the back and then on the front there as well. Colors. You've got black, which is going to be on the front here. Standard, back and forth between those. So choose whatever color you like for the grill option. Fuel tank, we have standard design. We have gray with black strap, gray with chrome strap, gray with a color strap. So that's going to be the color of your truck. And then you've got black with the gray, black with the black, and black with the chrome strap. And then you've got different options through there as well. Choose whatever you like. You're good to go there. It doesn't really matter too much. Glass color at the front. You have clear, a little bit darker, violet, and then golden. So if you've ever seen like a, a Tesla or something going down the road and you're wearing polarized sunglasses, kind of looks violet. And so do Mercedes and things like that. Well, this kind of gives you that look without needing to wear polarized sunglasses to play farm sim. Kind of cool. Fenders, we have gray open. You've got black open, color open, and then gray half closed, black half closed, and then the color half closed. We'll stick with that. Air suspension, yes or no, so that's cool to have. PX antennas, you got left, right, both, or neither. Exhaust, we have exhaust number one, number two, and then flip it around. You've got number three, and then back to one. So one and two are going to be here on the right hand side of the truck or, or driver's side and then on the passenger side we're going to have exhaust number three engine setup we have the 330 which is going to be 330 horsepower 360 400 440 460 and then back down so anywhere between 330 and 460 horsepower and then lastly we have the pneumatic six by four you can go with this if you want that'll just raise and lower one of the axles in the back um, a little odd, so I like to keep it just like this. But that's not it. We've also got the Eurotronic 330 Argentinian Hopper. This is going to show up as the OMBU 2011. This holds 15,000 liters of not a whole lot, like everything that a normal auger wagoning game holds. That's what this holds. And it's only going to take up two slots. So totaling, it's going to be 10 slots between the truck and this. Your colors are the same, so main color. Choose whatever you like through there. And then your design color. This is going to be on the top. So whatever you see there, you're good to go. And then colors, we have standard. White, this is going to be on the back, by the way. Black, we're back to standard again. So standard is going to be whatever color your main color is. 
white is just white and black is just a black. So there you go. That's the entire setup and here it is right here. We've got the trailer on there. We've got the truck on there looking good, looking good. Um, we do have some unforeseen things like clipping right here <laughs> on both sides. Doesn't look great, gotta be honest with you. Um, I think this was uh, maybe uh, measured just a little bit odd. I think this is supposed to be a little further back, a little forward front. Regardless, yeah, that's it's just in the wrong place. <laughs> Looks like it was just kind of grabbed from something else, but who knows there if we turn on everything uh, and we do a uh, little full dump here, load it up. You can see we have four different hoppers inside. So those are all gonna be filled up with different things. For example, if we go in here, fill unit, well, put in wheat, boom, you've got wheat. And then if we do a full dump, you can see it's dumping out of all of these and straight through the wheels. So, uh, you know, be careful. Don't, uh, <laughs> it's a little odd, isn't it? Uh, also be careful because you can see right here, I have lowered the front and I'm not sure how I did that. Um, Yep, it is kneeling 100%, but I don't know how I made it not kneel. Lift, close cover, aha, uh -huh, there it is. So it's open and close cover on the truck itself. Neat, okay, so a little easier than I made it out to be. And your only other new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the Sozma 9 Anchors. This is a subsoiler and can be found in such 90 horsepower is required for this 2.5 meter working with at seven miles per hour. And it is only gonna take up one slot, very affordable. I like that, not very taxing. Couple colors on here as far as the uh, parts that go into the ground. You could change that up between silver and red, like silver. And then design we have without reinforcement and then we've got reinforcement up there as well. So choose whatever you like and you are good to go. This has got some really nice dirt and wear on it. And I think it's a really cool mod. If you guys are looking for something that's gonna help you out a little bit on your smaller farms, it's not very taxing on your tractor, it's not very taxing on your consoles, and hey, it's pretty cheap as well. $2,100, actually two grand if you do nothing. Very cool. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today, we're gonna start with the New Holland T7 series from Blue Augen Modding. This is gonna be Changelog version 1.5. Minor bugs have been fixed, some options have been re-edited, rims, wheel weights, and hubs have been changed. Daytime running lights are now optional. The interior light has been added and that light turns on when the left door is open. Very, very cool through there. Nice options, very good update. This is also one of the tractors where there's actually two in a pack. You've got your first of the standard wheelbase or the short wheelbase right here on the left center. And then here on right center, we have the long wheelbase. So you've got two different New Holland T7 series that come with this. They're very affordable as well. Check them out. And your only other mod update today for all platforms is gonna be the Lizard Agri 13 Plow. This is gonna be Changelog 1.1 added wheel configuration. So let's take a look at those wheels, ba -doom, and ba -doom. Hey -ho! Um, I've taken a look at these and these will actually run along the ground when you guys are running. So this gives you something that's a little bit easier on your tractor itself. So when your tines are actually into the ground, the wheels will roll along on the top, making it a little bit easier, less stress on your tractor itself. 230 horsepower, 5.5 meters, at six miles per hour and total of uh, two slots. So not too bad. And what are our color options? Well, I think all of them is the correct answer there. And lastly today, let's make our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players. The first one's gonna be the map Noah Weiss. This is Changelog version 1.1. This update does require a new game save. Good to know that in advance. So the Changelog is fixed minor issues that are not noticeable. Cool. Fix bird sounds. Get out of here, birds. Fix the picking up of the crops from the ground, making it impossible to play. Fixed a game save issue. The economy and vehicles for the start have been improved and fixed a bug with the ground textures. How's about an update to the versatile four wheel drive tractors for PC and Mac players today? This is going to be version 1.1.0.1. Fixed a bug where some players could not buy the tractor. So if you guys don't know about this one, you got two different tractor options in here. 
3D tracks on the big versatile. And then, of course, you've got just <laughs> a big tractor right here. Really cool mod. I know versatile will be coming to Farming Simulator 22 for all platforms. However, they do not own the rights to it in licensing for Farm Sim 19. So that's why this is on PC and Mac only and not on consoles. Trust me. I wish it was a for all platforms too. And your last mod update today for PC and Mac players and our last mod total is the small gas station. It's gonna be version 1.003, fixed the snow on the roof and added a version with a tank, yeah! So we now we have a massive, massive version right here. If you guys are wanting to use something like this on your farm, that would be great to use. This looks great, don't get me wrong, but I kinda like this big tank on it makes it seem a little bit more realistic since well it's all above ground now instead of having the uh, invisible tank below ground all is good works just like a normal fuel station pull up fill up and you're good well guys that is going to be it for today's new mod video i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the goham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel this week mods have been releasing a little bit later than we're used to seeing them we've actually had plenty of time to get the news video up beforehand and i didn't even start working on this video until almost an hour had gone by after releasing the news vid so check that out if you haven't already Otherwise, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace!